Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is EA servers are unavailable right now. Please try again later. So if you are receiving this error with FC25 game on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First of all, install EA anti-cheat from EA website. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. Now scroll down under install EA anti-cheat. You will see download the EA anti-cheat installer. Click on it. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now over here, select from the drop down, you can select installed FC25 and then click on repair. It will tell you to, it will prompt you to select the game folder. So click on OK and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game folder, not open the game folder. You have to select this folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. Now, once it says installed success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then click on update. This time you select the option update and once the update is complete, now you can check. And during the update, EA anti-cheat will restart and you will see this. Here you can see update success. Once you see this, again select. Now, once you see update success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time select install FC25 and then click on uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is complete, uninstall for title success. Now click on install. And now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then again select FC25 from the list. And this time click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, do not install. Close this window and then launch the game. And when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install EA anti-cheat. So here you can see it will install. Click on yes to allow. When you receive a prompt, click on yes to allow. And then it will install easy anti-cheat. And then you should be able to fix the error. So here you can see the game is loading. And I did not receive the error still not working then please follow rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to make sure the servers are up and running so you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description and you can go to ea forum and check if there is any kind of a server like outage they will let you know on this page if there is any server outage then there is no need to perform any steps. You have to wait. Once servers are up and running, you can start playing the game. Next step is to update, repair, uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So for this, if the game is installed in EA app, then you can click on manage, go to properties and then go to the game installation folder. In my case, it is installed in Steam. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then this will take you to the game installation folder. Now open installer folder. Now open EA anti-cheat folder. Now here you can see EA anti-cheat installer. Make a double click, run this file. And then over here from the drop down, you have to select FC25. So if you see FC25, select FC25. If you don't see FC25, select FC24 and then click on update. Now you will see update success. Now go to the drop down, select FC25. This time click on update once again. And once update check is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time again select FC25 and then click on repair. And then go to the game installation folder. So click on OK and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. So if you have the game on EA app, then open program files and then open the EA games. You will see EA games and then open the select the game folder, then click on select folder. I have the game on Steam. So open program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps, common, select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete. Now here you can see install success. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, select FC25 and this time select, click on uninstall. Once uninstall is done, now click on install. 
Now once install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, again select FC25 over here and this time click on uninstall once again. And once the uninstall is complete, do not install. Just close this window and then launch the game. Now once you launch the game, this time it will give you a prompt to click on yes to allow to install EA Anti-Cheat and during the install, when it's launching the game, during the install, it will install EA Anti-Cheat and the game should be able to launch. Now it's still not working. Uh, the next step is to, now if you have any other anti-cheat program, like if you have face it, anti-cheat, or if you have any kind of, any other anti-cheat, uninstall other anti-cheat. So just uninstall if you have any extra anti-cheat installed in your computer, uninstall it and then launch the game. Next step is to run EA app as an administrator. So if EA app is running, close the EA app. Once you close the EA app, now type in EA in Windows search box and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. And you have to launch the game from the game installation folder. Make a double click, launch the game. Next step is to launch EA app in offline mode. Now go to EA app, click on this three dot and here you can see the option which says go offline. So click on go offline and yes, I'm sure. And then over here you will see install games. You will see FC 25, click on it. And let the game launch. Now, once the game is up and running, you can open EA app. And then you can click on these three horizontal lines and then click on go online. And then you can check. Now, if you face any kind of error, then in that case, you can launch the game once again and then check. Next step is to Restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct in your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also set time automatically is also on and scroll down here. You can sync now option. Click on sync now. If you receive any errors in red, click on sync now multiple times. And once this is synced, now you can go to time and language and go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program. I'm not using any third party antivirus, so I cannot show you. I'm using Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, then go to settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10 update and security, now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Select all the exe file. Again, click on add and load app, browse all apps. Select this EA anti-cheat game service launcher also. Now type in control panel and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file. Open, add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app. Click on browse. Select this FC25, open, add. Once it is added, again click on allow another app, click on browse. Select this exe file, click on add. In my case, I have already added all the games exe file. Now, once the game is added over here, 
now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform power cycle now to perform power cycle shut down your computer first and then unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart your wi-fi wi router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here hit the enter key again copy the second command paste it hit the enter key paste it hit the enter key Now, once you run all these command, now you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to use Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. And then go to network and internet. Now click on network and sharing center. Now click on your network and then over here you will see the properties option click on properties and over here select this internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 select this and then click on properties now over here select the second option over here which says use the following dns server addresses and over here type in 8 so if this is empty then type in 8 then again 8 8 8 then again 8 8 4 4 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on ok and then close this close it close the troubleshooter if you if it is if it is launching troubleshooter and then you can check the next step is to perform network reset now before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because when you perform network reset the computer will restart then when you try to connect to your uh, wi-fi it will be asking for your password so make sure that you have the password and to perform network reset you can open windows settings and then go to network and internet and then go to advanced network settings and then over here you can see the network reset option click on it and then click on reset now and then are you sure you want to reset your network settings if you agree click on yes and once that is done your computer will restart and after the system restart when you connect to your wi-fi network it will be asking for your password so enter the password and then once connected then you can launch the game and then check next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available then you can switch to different network and once uh, you connect to different network now you can launch the game and then check you can also use your mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data your cell phone data on your phone and then you can turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can you will see your phone over here phone network connect to your phone network and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to use ethernet connection so use the wired connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable uh, you can use the wired connection and then launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now the last step is to verify or repair the game file so for this you can go to the steam if you have the game on steam then go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game if you have the game on ea app then in that case you can go to the game click click on the game and then over here click on manage and over here you will see the repair option i don't see the repair option uh, because it is linked to steam so you will see the repair option after the repair 
you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.